Welcome to the R video tutorial on what is R. In this video tutorial, you'll learn what R is and the strengths and disadvantages of R. What is R? R is a statistical programming language that was based off the S language that was developed at Bell Labs by John Chambers. Rasa Haka and Robert Gentleman at the University of Auckland wanted an alternative to S+, which was a commercially available statistical software at the time, so they created an open source project to create basically S+. The idea behind this is to be able to quickly develop statistical tools and deploy them to the research community. Why use R? There's lots of reasons. Number one, the cost. It's free. So I tell people, if you don't like it, you can have your money back. <laughs> Number two, it's fast software development and implementation compared to C++ or Fortran or other languages that are required compiling. R is very good for this. It includes standard mathematical tools such as matrix algebra tools, probability distributions, its data handling capabilities are very good. It's very good at graphing. Uh, it allows you to do reproducible research, meaning that if you're in a research community and somebody asks you how did you do that analysis, you can simply give them the data and the code and somebody can see exactly what you did and they can run it and get the exact same answers. Uh, it has a large network of developers who keep adding contributed packages to R. Uh, this keeps new analyses constantly flowing into R, which allows for researchers in other fields to be able to use cutting edge research almost immediately. It's updated regularly, not on a yearly basis, but usually a quarterly basis so you can stay on the cutting edge of research and the tool is always up to date. Works on almost any computing platform because you can pilot from the source yourself if you want to and there are some people who have been working on running these on cell phones. Why not to use R? Well, the biggest disadvantage is there's no support. You must rely on the network of developers, friends, anybody that you know who happens to know something about R for help. Also, there's a rather steep learning curve. This is not a program that you go in and just point and click around and then all of a sudden you're able to do something in a matter of minutes. It takes a little while to learn R and to learn how to think like R thinks. Uh, it's slow for looping algorithms and maybe has some memory issues that people argue about. The graphical user interface for Windows is poor. The graphical user interface for Linux doesn't exist. However, the graphical user interface for Mac OS is actually not too bad. Who uses R? Uh, R has a very wide user base. In academic research, statistics, that's where it's developed, biology, medicine, forensic science, environmental sciences. It's beginning to creep into the social sciences. It's widely used in industry and government, and basically anybody who wants a flexible platform for computing. Get R. To get R, you can go to cran.rproject.org. CRAN stands for the Comprehensive R Archive Network. You can go to R's official website at www.rproject.org, and it has links to CRAN. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a great semester or studies in R, and please watch the next video.